Hi, this is a quick demo of how I got my own voice into Baldur's Gate 3. This will also work for replacing any sound effects or music with some slight differences. I'll go over them later. Step 1. Find the audio files that we want to replace. For me, it's dialogue. For you, it might be sound effects or music. I'll be doing it with the dialogue lines, sound effects and music. Just follow along. But instead of using the voice.pack, extract these. I'll show you how to do that now. First, we need to find all the original voice lines inside the game. They're found inside a pack file called voice.pack in this path. Next, we need a way to get to these files. Download a tool called lslib, go to the second tab, copy that directory, including the voice.pack. You can do this easily by shift right clicking, copy as path, and then just taking away those quotation marks. Then find a nice clean folder where you'd like all these lines to go and paste that in the destination path and extract package. The progress bar will go up. It may take five to 20 minutes depending on your computer. Once it's complete, go to your new folder, click through and you'll find every single voice line in Baldur's Gate 3. Now you notice that the file names are just a jumble of numbers and letters. So how are we supposed to read them? This first part here corresponds to a character and the second part to a specific line. Here I have the code for each main character in the game. I'll link this in the description. I'm going to replace some of voice number four's line. So I'm going to copy that and search it in this big folder. Step two, listen to the files. Now that we have the lines, we can't actually listen to them. These are WEM files and we'll need something that allows us to listen to them. So we have a software called FUBAR2000 and just drag all of them in. You can use Control A to highlight all of them. It'll take a minute or so to load them up. Now we can double click to play any file. Odd, no staying down on my watch. Step three, make your sounds. Now there's no right way to do the next part. You want to find every single file that you want to replace. This will be long and difficult. I created an Excel sheet where I listened to a line, wrote down what it was and added the file name. You'll need all of these, it's important. If you want to replace a line that's in a cutscene, you will need to speak in the exact duration and in lip sync so that it doesn't get cut off or look awkward. Now you've done the prep, just make your sounds. Then export your file as a WAV. If you're doing voice lines, make them mono, otherwise choose stereo. The important bit, name it the same thing as the original file. And now you should have your nice new correctly named WAV files. Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. Step four, convert your files from WAV to WEM. You've done all the hard stuff, now comes the easy bit. Download WISE from Audio Kinetic, launch and create a new project. Name it and hit OK. Once opened, go to Project, Import Audio Files, and Add Folders. Add the folder with your new WAV files. They will not be there, you just need the folder. Then you'll see them here, loaded up. Then hit Import. You'll see this asterisk where the new files are. Open that up, click on the folder, double click any of your audio lines, and then hit this Conversion tab. Use this button to open a pop-out. Go to Format, and listen carefully. If you're replacing voice lines, choose WEM Opus. If you're replacing sound effects or music, choose Vorbis. If your files aren't making any sound in game, try the process again using the other option. Then click Convert and Convert. Done. Now to get your files, right click any of them, open containing folder, click default work unit and it will open File Explorer. Go back a file and go into cache, Go through all the folders and you'll find your WEM files at the end. Copy both of these and put them in a nice new folder. Step five, batch rename. You'll see WISE has exported these files with its own code at the end. This is very bad. We need to get rid of that. If you have 4,000 files all needing to get rid of this code, there's a much simpler way than going through and manually deleting it one by one. We will use our secret code. After CD, change directory, you'll want to put where your WEM files are. 
Then grab the code from the end of your file that you want to get rid of, starting from the underscore, and place that in this part here. Now we need to use our secret code. Open Windows PowerShell, copy that first line, paste it in, and hit enter. You should see that this area here has now changed to where your files are. Now again, copy, paste, and hit enter with the second line. By magic, the code has gone. And the final step, grab your files and put them inside the game. So copy them and paste them in the correct folders. For voice lines, paste them here. For sound effects and music, put them here. And now you've successfully put your audio files into the game. Go listen to them. Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. I wonder if the cult of the Absolute has influence there as well. Hope this helps. Good luck and have fun.